Hi, I'm Amelia Smith, a professional stylist, and I'm going to show you how to use hairpins. For this, you will need bobby pins, hairpins, and a location to do it in. They come in several sizes. As you can see, I've got one rather large one and one small one. What these are used for, they're used best for anchoring in a look. You can use your bobby pin to actually secure it, and then your hairpin is going to go in and give that little bit of extra hold. So with Lauren's hair here, I'm just going to set that in with my bobby pin and then go in with my hairpin. Now when I first pull them out of the box, some of them can be a little separated. They might look, have different widths. You can do what you want to make them work better for you. So you can pull them apart. You can bend one side. And by bending one side, that's going to give you a little bit more of an anchor into the hair. So let's say you bend that. You just bend one side. And you push it in. And what that hook's going to do is it's going to act like a fish hook. And it's not going to fall out of the hair. And it's going to hold that spot. You can also, what I like to do with my hair pins is I actually like to push the back end closer so they're a little bit tighter. And then I just wrap my section of hair however I want it to go and just pin it in. Now, when pinning hair, when you're using a hair pin, you're going to want to grab little hairs underneath. So you're almost going to take like a little bit of a mo zigzag movement, if you will, just to grab other hairs and then pin it in. And that's what's also going to help to hold it. Because right by itself, it doesn't look like it's going to have much hold because it's got this gap here, whereas a bobby pin doesn't. So as you can see, the bobby pin's got these, this little this zigzag pattern. And what that's going to do is that's going to hold that hair, whereas the hair pin has nothing. So you have to use these little techniques to get the hairpin to work better for you. And I like to use hairpins, especially on, um, like, around the face, when you're just trying to pull back, like, a single piece of hair, and you don't want a pin showing. If I, hold, if I pull this hair back and I stick a bobby pin there, I'll show you the difference. A bobby pin's going to show. If I stick a hairpin in there, See the difference? I can completely hide the two. And that's how to use hairpins.